CM Punk said some very controversial things about Triple H and his family, but Triple H claims that he is going to call this matchup down the middle here tonight. I just can't imagine saying the types of things that Punk said to the guy that's about to referee your title match. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest set for one fall is for the undisputed WWE Championship. Introducing the participants first from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing 222 pounds, WWE Champion C.M. Punk. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing 240 pounds, he is WWE Champion, Jim Cena! Oh, King, what an emotional <laughs> night tonight. For the first time ever, we have two WWE Champions battling it out to crown one champion here at SummerSlam. The atmosphere here is electric. Did you hear that ovation for CM Punk? Unbelievable. This match is so important that Triple H, the game, the special guest referee, to make sure that this thing is called down the middle and that we crown one champion at the end of this match tonight. You're right about that. Triple H is guaranteed there will be a single WWE Champion. And Triple H taking all the precautions necessary to make sure both athletes are ready to go. Cena, Punk, make history tonight at SummerSlam. Here we go! Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. 
CM Punk has been celebrated by many for his outspoken approach and the way that he has, in his words, caused change in the WWE. On the other hand, he's been vilified by many for the way that he's gone about bringing change. Yeah, and because of his approach, this company now has two champions for the first time ever. Okay, can you believe it's WWE champion versus WWE champion? I know it. CM Punk is a four-time world champion, a two-time Money in the Bank ladder match winner, and the only superstar to win that matchup two years in a row. John Cena is an 11-time champion and has won more WWE titles than anyone in history. You know the way I see it, Michael. Neither of these competitors want to make a mistake early in this match. It could prove to be costly. This match might very well hinge on a mistake that one of these guys makes along the line. Last time these two met, it was a back and forth contest. Expect more of the same here tonight. Yeah, but even though these two have squared off before, there's even more on the line tonight. And these two men have never faced a pressure like this at any point in their careers. Everything is on the line here tonight. Everything. You know, when John Cena was growing up in West Newbury, Massachusetts, he dreamed of one day becoming a WWE champion, much like his childhood idol, Hulk Hogan. You know, ironically, Kang Punk was a huge fan of Rowdy Roddy Piper, who Hogan squared off against in a tag team match in the first ever WrestleMania. And you know, speaking of Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper, both superstars have since been rightfully enshrined into the WWE Hall of Fame. And you would have to think that both of these superstars might very well find themselves in the Hall of Fame one day as well. CM Punk. Vintage Punk. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Woo, a little showboating going on here. And we're going back between the ropes. You know, Michael, when CM Punk left WWE last month, I assumed we would never see him again. Especially considering all the defamatory things he said against the McMahons during his pipe bomb speech. Yeah, speaking of Punk's pipe bomb, didn't he call Triple H the doofus son-in-law of Mr. McMahon? That's what makes this whole thing so shocking. It was actually Triple H who re-signed Punk to a WWE contract. Go figure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! out what's going on here. See a punk gathering attention in a hurry. Uh-oh. Oh! Playing mind games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Yeah. He does it again. This might be big. King, this is truly one of the biggest matches in WWE history. Oh, you're right. This ranks right up there with Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant or Bruno Sammartino versus Buddy Rogers. Another historic WWE Championship match that comes to mind while watching this is Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Yeah, but which time? Oh, never mind. They were all great. Wow, that's got to be it.
Many people have termed this matchup the quintessential company man, John Cena, versus the ultimate rebel, CM Punk. Yeah, but you have to remember how John Cena walked into this company. He's a rebel in his own right. You remember ruthless aggression, don't you? Yeah, but in Punk's words, Cena's changed. He's now become the dynasty. And it looks like that dynasty is in serious jeopardy right now. Oh, well, you're right. Oh, man! Whoa! Punk taking out Cena and Punk out as well. And now the official can. Triple H gonna start the count. And Cena Punk's head crashed right into that wall wait, wait, after wait, wait, he crashed wait, wait, into wait, wait, Cena. Wait, wait. What? What? The reason. Count of like eight. I mean, what happens if both men get counted no out here? No count him out. Wait a minute. What's, what's Triple H doing? He's throwing Cena back into the ring. Well, I think Triple H wants to make sure that, no punk. that we indeed crown one champion here tonight. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. You gotta applaud this move by Triple H. Man, if you can't get up for this one, you'll never get up for anything. This is amazing. King, how does having a special guest referee change your approach when competing in a match? Well, it's definitely a game changer, Cole. A good referee blends into the woodwork. But when superstars become special guest referees, well, they oftentimes manage to somehow become the center of attention. Listen, I'd say the worst special guest referee of all time would have to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. He did an awful job during our match at WrestleMania 27. What are you talking about? That's just because I won the match and then it was reversed and you got a cheap victory, by the way. Sore loser. GTS, go to sleep. The pump knee. And he's got him, he's got him. But no, he doesn't. Cena stays in it. Incredible. The oh. resilience of Cena. I don't know, that looked like a mighty long or slow count. The game's saying that Cena got his shoulder up before the count of three, and Pump is frustrated. And I think he's begging him to bring it. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. You know, Michael, this is the first SummerSlam without Mr. McMahon in charge. You're right, King. And one of the most shocking moments I've ever witnessed in my career, Triple H relieved Mr. McMahon of his duties last month. And you know what? I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think I miss Mr. McMahon. You're not alone, King. Mr. McMahon may have been a demanding boss, but I still hear superstars in the back wishing he was still in charge. Well, Triple H told me earlier this week that he admits he has a lot of moves. He anticipated that move perfectly. Looks like we're going back inside. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. Oh, the punch connects. Did you hear how his leg connected? Cena channeling the emotion one more time. Very, very painful hold here. What's he gonna do? He's trying to escape, but the more energy he expends, the closer he is to being out. Oh! Are we moments away from a count out? Hey, wait a minute, what's he doing here? And he gets tossed back in the ring. Well, the WWE Universe is electrifying here tonight at SummerSlam. Every single person in this arena is on their feet. How could they not be? It's the biggest match in SummerSlam history. Oh, man, who's going to win this thing? Who knows? What a 
match. Momentum has shifted back and forth repeatedly between these superstars. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Oh my gosh! CM Punk using those versatile feet. Uh oh, CM Punk was looking to end it.